Hello, so we have a problem with the robots. First time we had 6 and now we have 10. I killed 2 of them just over here. I'm just trying to kite them around and hope for the best. But as you can see, they have entered the perimeter. And once they enter, it's kind of game over. I guess I need more traps over here since this is, this is painful. Snoring, great. I'm not sure how to approach this situation. I guess we can... Yeah, let's try to do it like this. This game doesn't have very good micromanagement. I would say it has the worst micromanagement I've seen in a game. But you still have to use it though. I guess Ken is the problem. Attack the Spearman. Lara attack as well. Carter will attack. What? Medical emergency? So these two will survive for longer, so... Yeah, they're just going to shoot me while I try to attack them. Even though they have low HP, they're going to get me. Thirteen hours is not enough for me to do anything. So, okay, let's try and reload the game because this is RNG. This is pure RNG. You can scavenge the ship for a gun. If you get a gun, this will be easy. You can scavenge the ship for... I don't know. Sometimes you'll get cloth. It will be easier. Sometimes you'll get med kits. That will also be easier. So I'm kind of forced to re-roll the game, well, reload the game, or re-roll the game because I got too many attackers. Or I can try to hide them around and hope for the best, which also is a decent idea, but the problem is it's too random. It's just too random. Wait, there are two, three of them left? Where is... Where is the third one? Oh, he's all the way over there. Well, that would be painful. Yeah. <laughs> They're just focusing on Ken, and Ken will bleed out in 6 hours now. I don't know, the developers really should balance their game. I think the problem with these developers is they're just adding content on top of content. They're not adding content to directly be a sequel to the content they have, if that makes sense. They are just adding content on top of content on top of content. They should be adding content organically to improve what they have, or have side grades for what they have. That would be a lot easier. For example, they should have really fixed this thing over here. Why is... I mean, yeah, you're supposed to play like this maybe, but what if you go very close? You barely see anything. In this scenario, I feel like it should be balanced. But this is not balanced at all. So, if they introduce new content, I really think it should be balanced. If not, what is the point? As people just struggle until they install mods or I don't know. So what I mean, we are not even attacking the robots. Oh, that one is dead. I cannot tell. It's such a mishmash of stuff. Seven hours bleeding. Well, I have to reload already. I don't know, in other games usually your characters can take a little bit of damage. Here it's always the same death causes, bleeding. Most of the times it's not even combat. And I cannot make armor, I cannot I can barely make a few weapons. So why even have the insane difficulty mode if the game was never meant to support such a thing? They're just Start getting him down, which is stupid because my characters cannot even see where they are going, and these characters just focus him down. 
5 or 16 hours. It's like they refuse to attack him even. I don't know. There should be more options for the beginning of the game, not just rerolling every time. I'm sure we can win this, but is it really worth all of this painful reloading and just wasting time? Because I've already wasted one hour trying to have the perfect location to the left, to the right, hide them a little bit, and I've reached this part of the game where I can almost win, but they just... They just seem to be annoying me. I guess we can also try to preemptively come over here and kill them, but... hours oh this one might be it but I doubt it come on move so 12 hours that might be enough to get some bandages going I should put Laura over here and eh, I guess he has to attack as well Okay, so what are we left with? 12 hours, 1 day, 18 hours. Is that enough? I don't think that will be enough. We can give it a go. Because we mainly have two ways of getting the bandages. Uh, and I guess we have to undraft everyone anyway. She's bleeding out as well, that's great. That's just... Harvest. Harvest. So we can try and find bandages or something in the scav... in the... chips. So everyone will scavenge while they're bleeding like crazy. I guess hope just wants a drink. Yeah, I guess crafting, tailoring and other stuff. So it's incredible that we'll just die with the materials needed to have the bandages in our hands. Come on, you, you can hold both of them. Don't be silly, see? I know what the characters can do, but they don't do it. So I have to hope they do it. I think only Carter, wow, he's scavenging so slow, that's not going to work. Half spear, yeah, sure. It only takes 4, so that means I can make, what, 15 bandages? I, yeah, that will not be enough. He's observing the red pointy plant. I don't know, that's just cloth. Oh, come on. So close yet so far away. I guess I have to start scavenging the assault units for spare parts, otherwise she will die anyway. And scavenge money? That's interesting. And I guess we'll have to scavenge the landing pod. Maybe, maybe we'll find something more useful. And look at this, he's carrying the bandages but he cannot heal himself until he puts down the bandages down or I don't know. I guess you can cook until you die. Leading out in 4 hours, so what does the medical treatment do for him? Nothing at all! <laughs> okay, let's hope he can... Man, this is so silly. He got metal out of it. So as you can see, it's just, just lottery. It's just a randomized lottery at this point. How many bleeding wounds does he have? Oh, I guess. 
I guess he might survive the next one. We don't have enough resources. Then harvest the buttermelons. <laughs> Release the buttermelons. He might be able to survive if he succeeds in healing his bleeding wounds and, and well, at least stabilize himself. It's stroke, mild. Oh, he's near the fireplace. One hour left. One hour left. Bandage in hand. He made it? Oh, he had one more. Okay, but he slowed down his bleeding. I guess I should, if I had, if, okay, the problem was I didn't have two crafting tables, so I guess I can try to reload and make two crafting tables since this seems like it will be enough. Within four hours, two hours. <laughs> He's watching, this is like watching the lottery, it's kind of funny. Kind of silly, kind of funny. Kill yourself. This will be funny if he dies while bandaging himself. Oh, he survived. He survived, but Lara will die. Okay. Now we know there is a met a method to this madness. Oh, hmm. I guess it's manageable or doable. <laughs> this is a <laughs> such a big crisis on our hands. So, oh, okay. Harvest that. Ah. Mr. Carter over here will have to build a very fast workbench. Oh, have resources available. How much wood do I need? Wait, what? How much wood does this thing cost? 10. I don't have 10 wood. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, now it's available. Fine. Okay, let's make sure she actually arrives. I, I guess we can also... Let's save over here. I guess we can also... Let's save at number 3. Yeah, we're going to lose this scenario. I don't think I want to play more of this. It, it's weird that they have such a bad balance. You'd think they know how to balance their game by now. It's only 3 people and 10 robots. So, he's scavenging. He's building. So now, all the cloth, all of it, please. <laughs> Giving manual commands to an automized game, the technical of game development. Medical emergency, two more of them. Uh, can she plant? No. We can craft a spear if we need it, that's kind of awesome. Oh, I don't think she can research, or I don't have anything that needs researching. I don't need the metal refinement, even though it's not a priority. At least she will stay over here. I don't know what else to do. Okay, so, yeah. Well, I'm getting used to this. I would normally need a restart because it's clear you can have a lot less enemies spawn, which would make this seven times easier, 100 times easier. He is awaiting treatment. I guess he can harvest some buttermelons in the no. I 
Ah, okay, whatever. That was the butterman and will be very angry if we survive this. So craft bandages until we have 20. Uh, there, was, there was a way to copy this, but I forgot how. Mirror and put it over there. Oh, you mirror the one that you give the orders to. Three. Uh, yes, I have to do it like this. So Carter is crafting bandages. Laura, Did she get the buttermelons. We can we cook. Wait, what is her crafting? I have to look at this as well. Crafting is one. Same as his. So, I guess we can work on all of it. Yeah, he doesn't... Yeah, it's going to be the same thing every time now. So, what can I do with Ken? Well, I guess I can make him... Ooh. I don't know, it's weird, they already started. So, Carter is the first one that will die. This is annoying, I really mean it, it's really annoying. I'm trying to heal Carter, but it doesn't let me heal him while he's crafting. I think you can apply a bandage while he's making a bandage, but man. Okay, who can do some medicine? I haven't really looked at this. Healing. Ken can heal very well, actually. It doesn't let me do it like this. That's such a weird design choice. Oh, <laughs> we're just trying to keep everyone alive. Bandage. No, not a bandage in sight. It's so weird. Come on, developers, make better controls. It's not that I'm asking something impossible. Okay, so he... Carter has crafting too, so he will have to craft. But I guess there's no other way around it. Kill him. And look, this is another thing I don't like. They just like to waste time. Oh, she's going to observe a pointy plant. Okay. Are you kidding me? Mistreatment? No, no, no. He'll cut the He's going to die. I cannot believe this. So this is a game that has been in early access for a long time. And now they're just making some DLCs. They don't... Okay, yeah, that's enough. We cannot heal him. Okay, he's not... Heal yourself then, man. Draft. Go here. Undraft. Heal yourself. You don't have... You have in an infection. Okay. Then you cannot do anything. Uh, make some extra bandages. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Make some extra bandages and then... 
not going to work. We have to treat lower as soon as possible. So annoying with the waiting, waiting, waiting. He's bleeding out in 2 hours, but he doesn't have any bleeding wounds. This is weird. If he dies, I'll be very upset. He will die. Why? He's bandaged. He's treated. I cannot believe we failed it just because he failed the medical treatment one. He's level 3. Level 3 is not 0, it's not 1. It should work. It should really, really work. Uh, okay, let's reload and let's try again. We're well, desperately trying to keep everyone alive. I can't believe they bleed through the bandage and you cannot retreat them. Kill yourself. How are you supposed to do it then? Is it really hard coded to bleed through the bandages and simply die? Okay, th there's something really buggy over here. Let's see if we can save himself maybe, because Ken didn't do anything to help him. This is crazy, this is crazy annoying. You have all of the resources you need, you you have the bandages. Why are you still dying? You are bandaged. I don't understand this. How is this? How is this supposed to work? I have the option to heal him, but I don't have anything to heal him with, right? I'll mistreatment, okay. Craft more bandages, I guess that's the only options we have. That is the only option we have, craft more bandages, even though we'll get an infection and probably die from that as well. It's a mild infection, why? We just got stabbed, you don't make mild infections so fast. Now it's letting me heal him again, attempt the bandage. Okay, now it's working. Yeah, great system, great system game. Super nice, super, super cool. It's going to bug out again. <laughs> this treatment. Have more bandages. And then I'll, I can get some food and maybe then we can... Start playing the game again. This is crazy. Oh, much. This is so time consuming because they're just failing treatment after treatment and it's bugging out. The game is literally bugging out. Kill yourself. Take the bandages. Carter, what treatment are you waiting for? Oh, damn. Come on, harvest those buttermelons. The melons are waiting to be plucked. Okay, somehow I think we'll survive this. That was crazy. So for the last 24, well, 24 minutes in the video, but I was actually waiting for this for such a long time. Okay, let's save the game. Now we have to get lucky on the spare parts. If we don't get the spare parts... We will still die. Because hope will die, and if hope dies, everything dies along with hope. <laughs> ah, that sounds so silly. Okay, what can I do with hope? Yeah, we can handle the traps. Thank you, hope. I can go and scavenge all of those. I hope I can find spare parts to repair it. It's stupid. It's stupid that we might lose her because of stuff like this. 
Did you harvest the buttermelons? Like you did. Oh man, Ken has so many jobs. Bad parts. Power cells. Laser pipe, okay. That's nice. How do you repair the stupid robot? I have the spare parts, come on, don't tell me I'll lose the game because she cannot heal herself, but how? I have the spare parts. Okay, let's put her in a bed, maybe it will work like this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It doesn't make any sense, but it works. I mean, you cannot put... Oh, okay, because I... Have this... I guess we still need to get lucky and get one more spare part. Where are the spare parts? Perfect. Heal hope. Hope is healed. Ouch. That could have been one of my people. Oh, don't tell me it's going to be... Yeah, it's one of those nonsense. Yeah, we failed the treatment, so we need another spare part. Carbon crossbow. Okay, we're getting nice stuff. <laughs> oh man, why? Why this game is so silly sometimes? I understand lightning can strike you, but it's oh man, you got hit by lightning while scavenging. Okay, Ken. You can do this. So we need to find six spare parts. Or when I find four, I'll put a letter slip. It doesn't make any sense that she needs a bed. That's exactly why I didn't make her a bed. You have to plan for a lot of things in this game that don't make sense. So everything goes over here, right? Parts don't transport anything. Scavenge. Hey, fuel. Big recipe is veggie soup. Until six. No, stop transporting. Scavenge. Man. You can do this. We believe in you. AI core, carbon crossbow. I told him to scavenge, he goes all the way to the other side to scavenge. Well, it's a game. It is indeed a game. Did you see that? That's so much time wasting. So if you look at the game super close like I'm looking right now, it doesn't make sense. This can let him eat, but of course he'll go eat at the lightning struck table. No, he'll hope. We need hope to survive. Hope is our only survival. Oh, I didn't have more spare parts, okay. I guess it's unavoidable, so this is the stuff I'm dealing with in this game. It's scripted that they'll get hit by lightning. I can guarantee you they are scripted to get light hit by lightning. You know, lightning doesn't strike in the same place in the same place twice, right? Except if you're playing this game. 
If they have, if you're playing this game, lightning will strike in the same place ten times. Okay, let's reload again. <laughs> we are struggling to save them. I don't know. It's a fun little DLC, but it's just so unbalanced and so buggy. And if you do it like I do, I'm trying to micromanage. I'm trying to micromanage everything. You see that it's buggy like this. A quick reset until six. Hmm. Oh, there's refuel. Wait for treatment. Okay. Uh, let's save again. I guess we can save again at number four. I'm trying to fix this. If I fix this, I'll play more. If not, well, I can fix it. That's not a problem. I can survive this. It's so oppressive. The environment is so oppressive. <laughs> you cook. Like I, I'm surrounded by kids. I have to tell them to do the same task. 10 times. Okay, how much food do we have? We have only buttermelons because she's awaiting treatment. Okay, we have to let everyone cool down. How do you... dangerous for her to go outside now, but doesn't seem like she'll die from the bleeding. How is Ken doing? Ken has so many tasks. He has to do so many things. Ah. Uh. Wait. Change owner. Ken. Go to sleep, you will get it by lightning if you don't go to sleep. Still, it still says none life threatening. Also, I. Yeah, she will have to craft more bandages for us. Carter, what is Carter doing? You idiot. I guess we'll have to try and harvest. <laughs> That's all we have, two grain cobs. That's so annoying. I guess we can try to harvest them, so maybe we can make at least one antibiotic, but I doubt that. See, this is what I mean. This is not randomized. It's truly 100% set against the player to hit the same character with the same lightning bolt. I have to keep him from getting hit by lightning. It's crazy how stupid the game can be sometimes. Okay, fine. Get hit by lightning, idiot. It's, there's no way I can. There's no way I can prevent it. I'm serious about this. There's no way I can prevent him from getting hit by lightning. No matter what I do, he still gets hit by it, and he gets hit by it so badly that will slow down and decrease his manipulation skill. Thing. And I thought I told him to scavenge. So. <laughs> He's supposed to scavenge. I'm struggling. I'm struggling so much with this game. I've played 80 hours of the game, and I'm still struggling with scenarios like this. But it doesn't make sense. So he has to. He should be scavenging. He was not. Really, oh. Delicious silica energy gel. Okay, that's good. I can use that. Okay, can we try and heal her for good now? You will also need some food, I guess. Oh. Feed her. Gulp, 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 gulp. <laughs> and then heal her. Come on, work, work this time. Work. Leave already. 
We, I think we have, we have done it. We have done it now. Go research. Wait, did we have us that? Bob, yeah, we have the grain. And then that means we need to harvest to research the antibiotics. Is awaiting treatment. Wait. Treatment for what? For his... I don't know, they surely have some better ways to do this. I guess infection is moderated. He might leave. The moderate is getting me worried. I guess there's nothing... He's wi what is he waiting for? Since you'll not get what he needs, because you don't have any antibiotics. I guess it's just better to scavenge the landing pod, okay, uh, and he can scavenge the robots, whatever. Uh, yeah, it's just better that she stays in base and researches. I want it. I don't think... Well, I'm not sure about these orange mushrooms. I think we might need them. But at the same time, there's not a lot of them. So even if I research them... I thought there were more of them, but they're not. Okay, <laughs> let's give an order to... Someone has to study them, observe them, at some point in their lifetime. And she's just planting away. Also, we have an, a few new weapons. I think we have, yeah, we have carbon crossbows for everyone. So is this what I was hit with? Okay, let's see. Damage piercing. Crit chance. Crit chance and crit chance is great. Damage to robots, 20. At least now we can see some stats for them. It's the same. What does combat actually increase? Only the chance to hit. Targeting speed and chance to hit. Well, I guess that's not that useful then, is it? Okay, everyone get the crossbows. <laughs> I don't care what you're doing, just get the crossbows now so we don't forget later. Stop with that nonsense about waiting treatment, just plant, do your jobs, people. Hmm, but what do I do next? Because I will need more defenses, I will need a lot more defenses if I'm honest. I have no choice, I guess we'll have to... Actually, you cook some soup, and you just stay on scavenging. I think we have finally stabilized the game. Was it worth it? No, it was not worth it, because that was such a painful attack, because we didn't have anything to defend ourselves with. We also have a melee weapon, we have a laser pike, that's cool. I'm not sure if I should give it to Carter, he will have a lot of pain and movement issues because of the... Lightning. Okay. We leave Laura. Okay. Leave everyone alone. Everyone will scavenge and everyone will work as intended. Yes, they can eat bad food as well, but it's not really going to be worth it. It's day five. We have been attacked in day three, and two days have passed, and we have barely even managed to regain some hope of semblance. Wait, how do you heal her? How do you heal her? She just sits in a bed and recovers? I don't think that's how it could work. Wait. She didn't finish this search, but she left? Why? I guess the robot got bored. Okay, finally some... You should be able to treat him, right? With the med kits, right? Okay, that's one gun. Yes! Okay. <laughs> we are on the right track. Thank you, game. Thank you. You are very, very kind. He will recover. 
You'll have to be on cooking duty for a while. She will plant until she faints because we need to finish this as soon as possible. Okay, now we're really regaining everything we lost. Okay, <laughs> that was how the game is played on this difficulty when the game is not really balanced or fixed. Anyway, see you next time. Bye bye.